this document transformation does. Let me check if there is any DB here. But yes, we have our own old DB. Okay, so we have seen now, let me open up here, MS Paint. We have seen connectors, right? In connectors, we have seen generic connectors, which was CCW, core connector worker. And then we saw also packaged connectors, right? which were nothing but MX, MasterCard, and Visa stuff, right? Then we saw DT, right? And okay. now then, so th these are the two types, which are the connectors and DT. Now we will see the, also we have seen one more, which was uh, report as a service, right? Once we, we did that custom reports, that also can be shared as a web service, right? So that was report as a service. It was another type. Now to cover this, let's see another one, which is an overview of Workday web services, right? Uh, so for that, right, you can open your Google and just write Workday web services, right? And the first link which will come up is a web, web service, all Workday web services publicly available, okay? Now on this page you see here, the first column is service, which defines the functional area and then the description of each functional area, like say benefit administration, right? The benefit administration web service contain operations that expose Workday HCM business process benefits related. Compensation has compensation related and financial management has financial related web services. So say if I have to open this one, right? So here we have different web services you see here as part of financial management. There are get web services, right? Like get accounts, get accounting adjustment, get account set, get this, get budgets, right? So get as the name says, it is for fetching data from Word, right? And then we have import, import is importing data into Workday. Again, we have put, put is also for entering data into Workday. And then what else do we have? We have submit, right? Submit also does the same stuff. So let me, if I have to put it here, Workday web services. One is get, which is for fetching data from Workday, right? And then we have put slash submit slash import, right? This is for loading data into Workday. Okay, now you will say, how will we know? Close this one and come to this part, right? So in this one, just randomly, I want from you guys, just say anything that what kind of data do you want to load? in Workday, right? Anything, so first basic thing is anything if you want to load into Workday, web service is the thing with which we do it. Even though we are using connectors, say inbound connectors, which we used, right? In, in MX, MasterCard and Visa for importing the credit card transactions, that connector also at the back end where Workday has written the code, they are also using web services. Right. Even though if we use EIBs or, or whatever, they also at the back end uses web services. Right now here, 
if say there is a third party system which wants to get data from workday right now say that system says okay give us all your suppliers whatever suppliers you have in workday send us that right so what we do is let me go back here at the top you have this operations directory what it will do is if you click on that it will open up all the web services that are there in workday right the version is 38.0 and this is the release which is the latest workday release 2022 r1 now since we want the supplier one i'll just search supplier and just keep on checking cancel supplier invoice change get basic supplier so this this is this one which is this service operation will get basic supplier that can be used as work tags only no so not this one let me search next orders or let me write get underscore fire so here is it right get suppliers right this service operation get suppliers on a specified criteria and all that so now all these web services are soap based web service right but the one which we did using the custom report and we exposed it that was rest web service right now the difference between rest and soap is rest you will get just one url which you can put it in your browser and just call it right you don't need any other extra software to install you will get a link put it in your browser give your credentials and then you are you are done you will get the data but for this one all these workday web services are soap web service so if i if you click on that it has a request and it has a re response format so if i click on this xml this is the request message okay so what we have to do is if you have to call this web service then there are these parameters which you need to enter values right like and workday has written what are optional what is like if you see here these are our optional right in the comments it has written this is optional 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 and all that so you can remove all that as it is not mandatory so the main thing is when you will give this to a third party system they should be able to populate this and call it right this is an advanced thing as of now as of as for this course what you need to know is that where do we find the web services and how do we call it what is a request what's the response right this is how the response looks like and this page has the details of all the parameters description right so if you go to the service directory i will say have this page saved bookmark this one and then you will have can all can you show me like uh, since you mentioned that this is soap right uh, mm -hmm. so we can use this visdal in uh, soap visdal that tool yes. and then we right. can put the request response right correct you can right so for that is this public you can search a task called public web service uh this is the one and then you have this absence management and all that stuff right security web service view visdal right so what you have to do is say you are you want to expose the supplier one right yes so i will go to the operations directory i will come here search for that get underscore supplier right and see this is the one and this this one comes under resource management okay so this is the web service one and you see here visdal is also there so you can directly copy you get the visdal here or if you know that resource management you can come to this task of public web services search search for resource management filter it out and then get the visdal from here yep 
and then you can use whatever tool you want soap ui postman or whatever wherever okay main thing is for you to understand that workday web services are publicly available right only thing is the security has to be sorted meaning we need to create a user a system user which can be shared just like we did for report right and the difference that these soap apis which are workday delivered these have their request and the response messages because they are soap but the one which we share using custom report are rest for that there is no payload no request no response you just have filters which again is part of the same url and that's it so you mean uh, rest one we cannot uh, expose in third party let's say if we are building any dashboard or tool now we can the rest one also rest is the best one to share now one more thing is we don't normally 90% of the time we don't share this these web services reason for that if you see there is such a complicated thing here right and it asks for sometimes the ids which are very workday specific right in this one you have to specify the reference id supplier reference and all that that kind of data is not known to any other system apart from workday right because those are the ids which are workday specific those are automatically created by workday so if the other system has to call this web service we need to first provide them all those ids that okay say if you are using get supplier one you have to pass the supplier id now how will that system knows what id right so you need to share with them first all the ids and all that so that they can populate this request and get the data that's why we kind of create a custom report and then share it as an api that is more controlled we can share what we want but in this one since it's work that delivered all the fields which are part of it will be shared you cannot customize work day web service meaning say if the in the response of this web service they are getting 20 fields then that's it 20 fields will be shared there is no way that you can remove 10 and only share rest of the 10 that's why 90% of the time these web services are not shared it's kind of used internally within workday studio okay clear on on this part of of the web services the workday soap based web services which are available right and they are of what type they are we have get which is used for fetching the data and we have put submit and input for loading data into work for some operations put is available for some submit is available import is normally there for the bulk huge data loads like say for loading accounting journals and all those stuff loading supplier invoices we have import clear so far on the concept report when exposed as a web service is a rest web service always remember very important question report when shared is rest but the workday web services are soap right which means that uh, this can be opened or accessed via a browser no additional software required right but for soap since it has a very specific request and response message it needs extra handling right like using soap ui 
kind of things. Okay, so workday custom reports. R for report, R for rest. Those are exposed, then it is rest web surface. The workday delivered ones are by default. So, yep, and how do you find it? You can access it over the internet. Those are publicly available to understand. Okay. Any questions? Yes, no. Is it 